Hi, this is Cool Cleveland editor Sarah Valick, and I'm at Devil's Backbone Herb Garden with gardener Lynn Rodeman. Hello, Lynn. Hi, how are you? Good. And so, how did you become a gardener? Um, I started off, I worked at a, um, a garden center, and I kind of had a love of plants ever since then, and I basically taught myself through community gardening. And tell me about your farm. Um, it is a market and educational garden. We grow culinary herbs and sell directly to restaurants. And what kind of restaurants do you sell to? Um, we sell to Rose Angel in the Gordon Square. We sell to Gypsy Beans and Baking Company, also in the Gordon Square. And we also sell to Dim and Dim Sum, the gourmet merchant. And uh, what's, so what's involved with being a farmer? Like, what's a typical day for you? Well, I... I homeschool my children, and so we usually spend at least three full days at the garden a week, weeding, watering. Um, I also have chickens, so we feed and water chickens two days a week and spend the other day here at the garden harvesting and weeding and watering. Very cool. How are your children like gardening? Uh, they love it for the most part. They, you know, they're younger. They're eight and three, so sometimes they reach their moments of, uh, <laughs> of you know, of being done at the garden. So we usually take a lot of breaks. And so where do you want to go from here? Do you want to get another garden? Do you want to... Well, I have three vacant parcels that I work on. Um, I am one of the pilot projects for the Reimagining Cleveland um, initiative. Um, and I guess I can only get bigger from here, but currently my garden's only half planted. I also have two other um, parcels that I work on, mostly with chickens. And you have an event coming up at Visible Voice, and you're talking um, about being, how other people can become a gardener? Is that? Um, the event at Visible Voice Books is a benefit for... I'm a guest speaker at Visible Voice Books on September 11th. I will be talking about my process as becoming an urban farmer, and I'm also going to be talking about how people can organize their communities um, to getting them a little bit more involved in local food. So what is your advice for how someone can go from having a backyard garden to having a few neighborhood gardens? Um, I would say, well, I guess it just depends. And if you're going to be doing it yourself, or if you're looking to do like community gardening, so the best way to be successful in any of it is to embrace your neighborhood on all levels. So you need to embrace the neighbors that you like and that you don't like <laughs> in order to become successful in it. Because um, they can be helpful, right? They can be very helpful, they can watch out for you, and they will not call the police on you when you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> How's the neighborhood here? Um, I have had a few problems, but for the most part, my neighbors, the neighbors around here are completely embraced me, and I'm very thankful for that. Okay, great. Anything else you would like to say about gardening? Anything? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. All right, this is Sarah Valick, and the event is at Visible Voice. It's on Friday, September 11th, and have a cool week in cool Cleveland. Hi.